Hi, Real Women of Philadelphia. Marisa Raponi from Toronto. I am sending you an entree and I'm so happy to be here for the week of entrees. Do you ever have leftover roast and you don't know what to do with it other than put it in the next day's sandwiches? Well, I'm going to do a Philly cheese steak and I hope you like it. In my little mini food processor, I have about a cup of cheddar shredded. I'm going to add half a container of my favorite Philly cheese, which is urban garlic, but you can experiment and try all the other ones. I have tried all the other ones. The kids just prefer this one, so I know it will get eaten if I use this one. So I'm going to just blend that up, and this could get noisy. So my cheese is all blended and I'm just going to spread it in big dollops all around this still warm pizza from the oven. And it is going to melt all over the place. And this is definitely a meat lover's pizza because it's got steak all over it. And I don't want to miss any little drop. There we go. We're still going to add more. So even if it's not evenly spread, it doesn't matter. And I like my food to be in big clumps because that way you get a nice big clump of something when you're eating it. And it just that makes it that much more satisfying. Okay, so that is done. I'm just going to sprinkle some of my chives from the garden. And they are just growing so tall. I'm just so thrilled. And now I'm going to put on some of my strips of beef. You can put as much as you like or as little as you like. You can cut them as big or small as you like, but I like them in strips. I really want this to be a Philly cheese steak sandwich. Okay, that looks about good. And I'm just going to get my caramelized onions. This is two large onions that I sauteed and now I'm going to spread all over the pizza. Come in a little bit closer and take a look. I left it in big rings because I said I love big chunky things. And it's so nice getting a mouthful of something that's delicious and tasty. I'm not adding any extra salt because both cheeses have salt. And so did the pizza dough have salt, so we don't want too much. And so does the steak, or I should say the roast. I don't want to miss any of the onions. And just fill in any spots that are missing. Now I have some brie that I'm going to also put on top. And some people like the skin and some people don't. We don't like the skin in our family. So I'm going to just take it off. And I'm just going to put little dollops, oops, lost this one. Little dollops all around the pizza. And once you buy a pre-cooked pizza, really it's just a matter of popping it in the oven with your ingredients and it's done within 10 minutes because all the ingredients are top on top are done. And this is just mild Havarti and provolone mixed together and I'm just cutting each little piece as I get them and it doesn't matter which one it is and that's it. I'm going to pop this in the oven and this will be done in five minutes. I'll see you back soon. Wow, look at this pizza. You can see the cheese oozing all over the different strips of steak, the onion that's caramelized. You can even see some green peeking through, my favorite food color, green, which is good for you. And you can see the Philly underneath peeping through all of that. This is every steak lover's delight with all this steak, all the cheese oozing through. This would be great midday, any day of the week, any day you're in a rush, topped with a salad or any other greens, and you have a great meal. I hope you enjoy this one, and I'll see you again soon. Marisa Raponi from Toronto.